Hey DIYers, Jarrett with Alarm Grid here. Today we're going to be discussing how you would find the CRC on your Honeywell alarm system. Um, you could find the CRC inside of the communication ID numbers menu within the installer programming of the system. Um, now to be able to access that you will need the uh, default installer code or you will need the installer code in general but the default installer code for the Honeywell systems is normally 4112. Um, now you will need this Mac and CRC for the alarm system, especially if you're setting it up for alarm monitoring services or even being able to use Total Connect 2.0. Um, the Mac and CRC is very, very important because it allows the alarm monitoring company to be able to um, associate that Mac and CRC for the communicator that's installed in the system with the AlarmNet 360 account to be able to uh, create the Total Connect 2.0 account and get you set up for monitoring services. Um, now, the way you can get a Mac and CRC is only if you have a, an IP communicator installed in the system. Um, now, for the Honeywell Lynx Touch panels, you will need to at least have uh, an L5100 Wi Fi installed, and that is the a Wi-Fi communicator is built for the Honeywell Lynx touch panels, um, which we have one right here, which is the L7000. Um, and then also, if you do have a cellular communicator installed as well um, for the Lynx touches, we will need the Mac and CRC, or you will need the Mac and CRC uh, for that communicator too. Now, if you don't have either of those communicators installed, um, then unfortunately there is no communication method for the Honeywell Lynx touch. Um, so there will be no Mac and CRC. So the only way to have that Mac and CRC is if you have uh, one of those communicators. Uh, now the Honeywell Lyric system, um, it does have the Wi-Fi built into it. So it automatically does have a Mac and CRC because there's no Wi-Fi module um, that needs to be installed. Um, now if you did want to add a cellular module to the system, you can definitely do so. Um, and you, you'll still only need to provide the Mac and CRC for the panel itself. So now, in this video, what we're going to be doing is um, I'm going to show you how to find the Mac and CRC on the Honeywell Lyric, um, but I'm also going to show you how to find the Mac and CRC on the Honeywell L7000 panel as well. Uh, so if you did want to find the Mac and CRC on the Honeywell Lyric, uh, what you'll do is at the main screen, you're just going to tap Security. You're going to go to Tools. And this is where you're going to need the installer code. Um, now, if you haven't changed the installer code, the default installer code for this system is 4112. Then you're going to go to Program. Um, you're going to hit Com Diagnostics. You're going to hit the down arrow. And then you should see Communication ID numbers at the bottom right. So just tap on that. And as you can see, you have the MAC address and the CRC on the panel right there. So um, once you've found the Mac and CRC for either the Honeywell Lyric or the um, Lynx Touch Panel, you at least want to write that down or something so that you make sure that you have it on hand. Uh, just in once you're, or just in case your monitoring company asks for it, more than likely they will. So at least you will have it there just in case if they do. So um, once you have confirmed the Mac and CRC, then you're just going to hit the back arrow until it takes you back all the way back to the main screen. So now we're going to move over to the Honeywell L7000. So to find the Mac and CRC in the L7000, it's going to be actually um, pretty much the same thing. There's going to be one extra step to do it. Um, so what you'll do is tap security. Then you're going to tap more on the bottom right. And then you're going to go to tools. And then this is where you're going to type in the installer code again. So the default installer code is 4112. You're going to go to program, com diagnostics, Gonna hit the down arrow on the right side and then hit uh, communication ID numbers. It's gonna be in the same exact spot. And then once you tap that, you'll see the Mac and CUC for the Wi Fi um, if you have it installed. And then if you do have the cellular module installed as well, then you will see the Mac and CUC for the cellular too. So if you look right here, um, you have the Mac right here, which specifies cellular. You have the CRC, which specifies cellular as well. Um, and then we have the Mac and CRC for the Wi-Fi module. Um, as I said, if you do have the uh, communication module installed, um, then you will be able to have the Mac and CRC. If you don't, then this will not pop up and you will not be able to see the Mac and CRC. Um, so as I said, you want to write it down. 
And once you've confirmed everything is um, all good, you'll just hit the back arrow to take you back to the main menu. And then you're normally going to get this window. Um, allow installer to re-enter programming. Always press yes. Always press yes. Um, if you ever press no, you're going to lock yourself out of programming and you're going to have to try to backdoor the system to try to re-enter programming. So to avoid all of that, just tap yes. Back row again, the home button, and now you're back at the main menu. So that's how you find the Mac and CRC on the Honeywell alarm systems. If you have any questions about the Honeywell alarm systems or alarm systems in general, please contact us at support at alarmgrid.com or go to our website, alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you want notifications of future videos, please click the bell icon. This is Jared with Alarm Grid. You have yourself a great day.